Welcome to Talk About Topeka Live here at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. We've got a featured creature with us from the Topeka Zoo, brought to you by GabLocal.tv. I'm your host, Chris Schultz here, and we've got Joe Maloney, and uh, you're a, a zookeeper at the zoo, and you specialize in insects here, and you have a, uh, a fabulous little friend with you here. Uh, tell us a little bit about our guest. So this is... A female jungle nymph, stick in, she's a stick insect. I know she might kind of look like a praying mantis, but she's mm -hmm. not. She's not a predator. She, as all stick insects, she just eats leaves. Mm -hmm. um, and I said female at the beginning because I wanted to emphasize that because males look very different. Males are, are what much, you eat here is what it looks like. She looks they, like a leaf. So. And that's what she wants because she yeah. blends in. Because yeah. as, as big and scary as she looks, there's still a lot of animals that might like to eat her. Mm -hmm. But she is not without defenses. I don't know if you can see it, but on her back legs, you'll notice she has some pretty long, sharp spikes. When she gets mad, and I'm going to try not to make her mad, uh -huh. uh, she will lean forward and lift those legs up, and she'll snap them on any oh, wow. predator or anything she thinks is a threat. Wow, that's cool. Uh, so uh, how old is she? Uh, she's just over a year old. OK. Uh, she could still get a little bit bigger. As impressive as she is, she might grow a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, males are only about a third the size, so not Ooh. nearly as impressive, like with people. Hmm. And <laughs> so uh, how many other insects like this do you uh, manage? Uh, so at our bug zoo, we have quite a few different species of stick insect. We have scorpions. We have tarantulas. We have Thanks for not beetles. bringing them, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, and so this jungle nymph is from Malaysia. We do have several species that are from some of the tropical parts of the world, but we have native species. Uh, because the United States has some impressive wildlife, too. We have a black widow on exhibit to show people what they look like. Wow. We have some native Kansas scorpions, because they scorpions do live in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And there have been some exciting things that have been happening at, at the zoo lately. Camp Cowabunga has opened That's up. That's right. Camp Cowabunga is open, the, the newest addition to the zoo. Oh, she got a little mad there. She's excited. I'm <laughs> talking about Camp Cowabunga. Like, she got excited. Stop talking about Camp Cowabunga. No. This is about insects here. <laughs> no, that is open. Uh, we have several new exhibits. We have a potus monkey, which is a species of primate we've never had. We have ostriches. We mm -hmm. actually, they're actually baby ostriches, mm -hmm. uh, but only about four months old. So come and see them before they're giant. Oh, and some giraffes, I hear. We do have yeah. two baby giraffes, Kanza and Liz, which very exciting. They are very playful. So if you come and visit, you might see them running around the yard together, playing. Yeah. There have been some really great things happening, recent developments in the last few years. You look like you want to hold her. You're holding your hand. You I, hold I guess uh, maybe. <laughs> now I just have to prove how cool I am. Just I watch out for the venom right oh, there. Oh, no. I'm <laughs> kidding. No, I'm kidding. No venom. No venom. All right. Completely harmless. She'll just, she'll just walk on your hand. Oh, wow. She says, oh, I like you. I'm hungry. And they just eat leaves <laughs> so she can't bite you. Oh, wow. Now she walks right toward me. I guess she likes my voice. It's very soothing. Isn't she it? might. Oh, my. There you go. I, see, I feel the spikes. Yeah, you don't want to feel them more, though. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> wow. She is quite a magnificent creature. And, and you don't think about that in, uh, in wildlife, especially like, you know, little, you know where, where, where is she indigenous to? Uh, this like, species where? lives in Malaysia. So this Malaysia. is a tropical species. The stick insects we tend to see around here are much smaller and much skinnier. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and usually when you hear stick insect, you don't quite picture something like this, but it just goes to show you how crazy and diverse the insect world is. It certainly is. And uh, it's, it's like a zoo. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you, Joe, for coming on the show and, and talking about this. How long have you been with the zoo? I've been with the zoo almost six years. Very cool. And uh, how, what do you think since uh, six years ago when you signed on? We've seen some really incredible developments there. What are your favorite uh, pieces personally? Uh, I would have to say at this point right now the excitement from Camp Cowabunga because it's, an entire, it's actually the largest project in the zoo's 85-year history. Mm -hmm. This is the largest addition, so that's just exciting to be a part of. And of course, you probably got to hang out with Gary Clark. Yes, and I've heard some of his stories. They are incredible. Uh, he's been to Africa on safari well over 100 times. And mm -hmm. if you're ever able to go to the Camp Cowabunga offices here in Topeka and you catch him there, he will definitely regale you with tales of Africa. He's uh, definitely a Topeka gem uh, mm -hmm. when you think of, of all the contributions he's made and the hard work he's put into the zoo over the years. and, and now. You know, turning around and honoring him. How, what a cool 
way to remember a big piece of the history. Because the zoo is, is what it is because you had hard workers like Gary working yes. on it when it was starting out, right? Mm -hmm. So it's good stuff. Get out and check out Camp Cowabunga. Uh, and uh, if you, tell Gary hi for me. He was on the show mm -hmm. one other time. And, and people can find that if they go uh, to gablocal.tv and search uh, for Gary Clark. Uh, it was a great interview. Uh, Jamie Slack and I interviewed him on the show. It was a great time. So uh, find out about that guy. Very cool. Uh, and then get out and see Camp Cowabunga because now it's a reality. We were talking about it's conceptual back then. And now to just be there and see it, it's very cool. It's very real now. Very real. So Joe, thank you so much for joining us. And thank, what's her name? So that, that's a good question. I need to thank Well, her. actually, you know what? I can tell her her full, her, would you want to like to know her full name? Yeah. Heteropteryx dilata dilatata. Hetty. So that's, Hetty that's May. your uh, Latin <laughs> lesson for the evening. Hetty May. I like that. Headley? Get... Blazing Saddles reference? <laughs> well, it could be that no? too. Headley? That, work. that works for me. So go out and see Headley over at the Topeka Zoo. Joe, thanks for joining us. And uh, check out TopekaZoo.org is the website for them. Uh, like them on Facebook. Get out there and see Camp Cowabunga and all the cool new uh, developments that have been going on. Say hi to the giraffes. They're just adorable. And uh, be sure to support GabLocal.tv, the sponsor of this segment, celebrating the people, places, events, and ideas that make our communities great places to call home. That's GabLocal.tv right here. There we go. We'll see you uh, back next time for Featured Creatures. Joe, uh, what are you going to bring next time? I think I might be able to sell you on a tarantula if you just give me a chance. <laughs> if you just give me a chance, I might be able to. <laughs> Joe really didn't like being on the show tonight, so uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we'll see you back next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in.